Jesus! That is a worried face. We're going to have a quick look outside. sleeping bag in a dry bag without fail. Today I didn't. And the water got in and that's my trip done. Oh, well I've definitely left no trace. Super, super disappointing. But some positives because thing I've taken from this. I've, uh, I love my tent. It's a Berghaus Peak 3.1 Pro and I've been caught in some really really nasty weather and I know once it's up location twice and got the tent up and it was in a nice solid solid spot it would have been fine do you know what now I'm thinking no I'm gonna be optimistic I'm not gonna see cows so yeah I got it up and it was solid and then I noticed there's a small tear in my rucksack where my sleeping bag was. I always, always put my sleeping bag in my blue 20 litre dry bag. Every time, without fail. And today, do you know what I put in my 20 litre blue dry bag? My Coleman petrol lamp. Why I did that, but I did. Ah, so points to take away. Ah, I was committed. So psychologically, it wasn't bothering me. I'm not worried about. Well, I am worried about cows, but I'm not worried about the dark or other humans. Waking up in the morning and I'd set my GoPro 9 to do time lapses in the night. I take it's bleak up here, it's really really bleak. It's really lovely and I know this area really well. I planned it well, apart from the dry bag and my sleeping bag. Chosen area that I know that I feel comfortable with that even if my primary and secondary lights failed the granite path back to the car it's about a mile and a, about a mile and a bit that would have been fine wasn't to be and that's fine next time as soon as I get another chance I am doing this again no 
2.0, I don't know. Version 2. The success. There we go. Uh, a fail, but an interesting fail. Um, learned some bits about myself, learned some bits about my kit, uh, namely that what I have been using my kit for is probably its limits. And for nights like this, I need more suitable kit. But I think the most important thing I've learned today and, and I'm really going to take from this is that there was a big part of me out there that was saying it's okay it's not going to be below freezing tonight you've got a wet sleeping bag that's fine your tent's going to do okay you're going to be all right and I think that's unlikely to be true um, and I would have normally well a lot of the times I have listened to that stupid inner voice but I was a sensible inner voice uh, and experienced in a voice saying this is unsafe you've yeah you got your tent up your kit isn't in the right order and i think it's really important to mention that if i get into tr in trouble up here tonight um i'm gonna i'm gonna phone for help uh, and then all these people are gonna have to get out of bed and come looking for me and that's not fair on them so don't always listen, don't listen to that stupid voice that we've all got, we've all got one of those in our heads. Listen to the sensible one, listen to the one who is jotting things down every time something goes right and, and every time something goes wrong. That, that experienced voice, listen to that experienced voice. So that's what I'm gonna take from this tonight, but I called it at the right point and it's fine. And that's the right thing to do. When things go wrong, the right thing to do is to call it. And I've learned that I can decamp safely, get all of my kit. I haven't left anything behind. I didn't jam it in. It's all packed fairly okay. Um, I'm okay. I'm going to go home and I'm going to have a bottle of wine with my wife. And that's okay too. <laughs>